Hello everyone, my name is Dan Whaley. I'm doing this presentation for Latin 1001 at Kennesaw State University. The professor is Joe Ann Nally. What you see before you is called a polybolos. It's a siege weapon used by the ancient Romans. Uh, its most notable achievement is the chain drive system, which you see right here. It's the first siege weapon of its kind to use any kind of a chain drive system. And this, this looks like they're wooden links. Um, this is a modern representation. It looks like it's at a uh, convention center of some kind. The Romans were a very warlike people. They conquered almost the entire known world in their time. Uh, and they, As conquerors, they liked to assimilate new cultures that had something of value to them. Uh, ancient Roman culture and ancient Greek culture share many similarities, and they envied, and they liked the, the ancient Greek culture, so they took many of those aspects and made it their own. Well, they did the same thing with weapons. Um, the Romans were some of the first to standardize the gear that a soldier had, um, and w one of the first uh, nations to actually have soldiering as a profession. Typically, beforehand, you would have just farmers and whoever with some weapons, and those would be your soldiers. These actually, the Romans actually had professional soldiers. Uh, this is one of the siege weapons that they took and then improved. Uh, it's, in effect, a giant repeating crossbow, uh, which is really cool because it's giant and it's repeating. Uh, now, this is much bigger than they would actually use. Typically, you'd have like a four to five foot tall one. Uh, this looks like it's 10 or 15 feet tall. Uh, its modern day equivalent would be a 50 caliber heavy machine gun. Uh, which is a big weapon that you can mount on the top of a Humvee. It's not something you can carry around. Um, but we're not talking about modern warfare. We're talking about ancient warfare. Uh, its creation is credited to Dionysus of Alexandria. I find it funny that Dionysus is the Greek god of wine, but this man named Dionysus created a giant repeating crossbow. Uh, this is the, Like I said before, this is the first siege engine to use gears and a chain drive. Here you have a much larger representation of the polybolos. You can see here, these are leather or animal hide or sinew or something flexible that are tied or ropes tied to give um, the force that you'd have to pull back this cord, which served as the bowstring. What you do is you pull that back and then you put the projectile in that tray and it launches it. To give you an idea of just what kind of a weapon this is, um, you see the statistics on the page, it could fire off about four shots in a minute. Now that's pretty slow for modern warfare with fully automatic weapons, but for wood and animal hide, it, it was actually pretty good. An English longbowman would fire at about a rate of six shots a minute. Now they could fire faster, but they kept it to about six so that uh, the archers would not get tired. The crossbow, which was much easier to use, uh, didn't require as much skill, as much learning as the longbow, uh, would fire at about a rate of two shots a minute. A musket, which is outside of the ancient Romans, but just to give you a point of a point of reference, a musket could get, could get off three shots a minute. A trebuchet is a catapult type siege engine. A small one of those with a, with a crew of men could get off about two a minute, and obviously bigger ones would be even slower. Um, so the polybolus was actually a pretty fast weapon. Um, it wasn't used very much, but from what I found, it looked like it was particularly effective. Here you have a side shot. Um, from what I can tell, this is about a four to five foot tall weapon. This stick right here, would adjust the elevation, which is how the degree at which it shoots up or down. Uh, this hand crank is what would let's see if I can find the mouse. This hand crank is what would um, use the chain drive, which you see here, to pull back this mechanism and also draw the bowstring back, and then you would release it with a trigger of some kind, or just keep cranking in. in certain cases. Uh, this one looks like it just keeps cranking. Um, and then it would fire out the bolt out the front of it. So you could just keep cranking and keep cranking and it would fire bolts as fast as another person could drop them in. 
Here's a side view and a more in-depth look at the parts. You can see it's got the pentagonal gear system. Uh, this particular model, because this, because the catch is fixed to this gear, um, you would crank it all the way back, and then you'd have to release it with the trigger mechanism, and then it would fire, and then you'd crank it back. It wouldn't be a completely rotating assembly where you just keep cranking and cranking. This mechanism, before you saw a hand crank, this is called a windlass, or you just have spokes sticking out of it and you push on it instead of turning a hand crank. Here's the top down view. Uh, you can see this, this picture has a hand crank as well. And this gives you a shot of the bowstring. And what, it, what would happen is you would turn this hand crank and it would bring this, bring this drawstring back and then a bolt would fall into place and you would release the bowstring and it would shoot up front. Here's the back view to give you an idea of how the magazine feeds the bolts into the tray. Uh, I couldn't find a definition of a dactyl. I thought it was a measure of distance. Here are two videos um, that I found on YouTube that show repeating crossbows, which are similar but not the same thing as polyboloses. Uh, the Irishman who did both of these videos actually made them. Uh, the first one explains how it functions. He goes over how his particular one functions. His, you pull it back and it fires and you, you just keep pulling back on the, the lever. And the second one is a demo of him in action. Um, it's got music, uh, I think it's rock music or metal, metal or rock, whatever. Uh, but I'm going to pause here, uh, so if you like, you can go check out those YouTube videos. They will be posted in the text section of this video, if you want to go check them out. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you watched those videos and were entertained by them. And this slide, I'm going to compare some of the things. It's actually very similar to the way he did his uh, repeating crossbow uh, with a few notable differences. He doesn't have the catch here and he doesn't use a chain drive. He just uses um, a good old lawnmower pull for pulling back the drawstring on a siege weapon that wouldn't be possible, uh, which is why you would need something like a chain drive to accomplish that. Uh, but he manages that because he just has a man portable repeating crossbow. This concludes my presentation. Uh, I will be posting the annotated bibliography in text form. Uh, there, there's too many links to really post in a slide. Uh, I think it would take about seven or eight slides. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching.